Hi everybody. Today we have these four radiographs that have just exited in an automatic processor, and we are going to demonstrate how to mount each film in a correct sequence. So the first question in our case study: uh, Describe how the left and right sides were determined. So the first step in determining the correct sequence is. We ensure that the dots on the film are all positioned convex, which means pimple, not dimple. This helps us indicate the left and right sides of each film. The second question in our case study is list the steps followed to mount these radiographs. Film-based radiographs should be mounted immediately after processing to prevent loss or mixing up. Make sure to hold from edges to avoid smudging or scratching the emulsion. Place the embossed identification dot the same way for all films. As mentioned before, make sure the embossed dot is convex. So the third question for our case study is what generalizations aided the mounting process? Maxillary molars have three roots. Palatal roots make it difficult to visualize three, so it'll look it'll look all together. Molars should be placed more distally, and premolars are mesial. Mandibular molars have two divergent roots distinctly observed, bone visible between two roots. Body of mandible has a distinct upward curve toward ra ra ramus in the molar area. Bite wing radiograph images should be oriented so that the occlusal plane presents as a slight upward curve or smile. Roots of most teeth curve distally. We identify the anatomical landmarks to, uh, to assist distinguishing radiographs such as the curve of speed. So the fourth question in our case study, order the radiographs as to where to begin and end the interpretation process. By following the sequence provided, this is how your mounted bite wing radiograph should look like. So this is our final result of mounting sequence where film 1 goes here, film 2 goes here, film 3 goes here, and film 4 goes here. Thank you for watching.